Okay, so I have the first for women, June 28th, 2021 issue in my hand. And uh, we're going to try and start this book. Um, I just wanted to basically start it because this one has got so many paper clips. It's that informative, that good. And when it's that great, I want to come on right away and share as many with you because we've got more magazines coming in daily because I order them. And if we get overwhelmed with magazines, I like to stay ahead just a little bit. So, feel good file, bliss in every bite, a festival fruit salad. Our July 4th cookout wouldn't be complete without a fresh fruity dessert, says Charles Grasaki, the first associate food editor. And this year, I'm surprising loved ones with this mint-infused watermelon salad. First, I add one-fourth cup of water, one-fourth cup of sugar, and two mint sprigs, sprigs to a pot and cook over a medium heat until the flavors blend. Then I strain the cool syrup. Next, I cut one seedless watermelon into one inch thick slices and using a two and one half star cutter, cut out shapes. Then I combine the stars with one cup of fresh blueberries and raspberries, divide the fruit among the bowls, pour the mint syrup over and garnish with mint. It's cool, festive, and oh, so delicious. These are seven things making us happy and that we just had to share with you. The Crafting Up Smiles is next. It says Seaside Settings. Sun, sea, sand, and my family and I just love the beach, muses Patty Bataki, the first executive editor. So to bring our little coastal flair right to our dinner table, my kids and I crafted up these cute sailboat plate accents. For each, we cut a white paper into a rectangle, then visited origamiinstructions.com and clicked on quote-unquote boat under quote simple origami to find easy step-by-step -step folding directions. Then we glued a triangle of the paper to the ribbon to the top and set it on the plate craft store shells and it was easy. The blooming runner which is dazzling on a dime. A Sunday afternoon is perfect excuse for putting together an outdoor bunch says Lauren Bloom first associate editor to dress up my table I made this lovely r living runner to do, I cut a long rectangle from fabric and hot glue twigs along the edges. Then I add wheat stalks and garden blooms until the fabric is covered. They have a wonderful picture of it. Looks like a brother and sister holding hands. And it says, we rise by lifting others. It's a quote now by Robert Ingersoll. Now, the genius find is an ice pop lover's best friend. On summer days, my favorite way to cool down is with a frozen treat, says Melissa D'Agostine, the first senior editor. So I flip for this homemade pop maker, just pour it in fruit or veggie juice and freeze. Ruby Pop Maker is $17 at Amazon.com. The phone-friendly snap a pic and share with a friend says, one flag, one land, one heart, one hand, one nation, evermore. And that's a quote by Oliver W. Holmes. And we don't really care about flawless skin because we all don't have that, so forget it. Smart You Solutions. Now, these are quick tips that keep you looking and feeling great. Here's a reader's tip. Mess-free way to a perfect pedicure. I like to save time and money by painting my toenails at home. But hunching over with a shaky, unsteady hands often result in more polish on my toes than on my nails. I told my sister and she recommended using a cotton swab to dab a bit of coconut oil around my toenail cuticle before painting them. The slick texture ensures any slip-ups wipe right off. And at my home pedicure looks professional and nice. From Connie Hayes out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Here's a quick poll. How do you soothe painful chub rub? Ouch, we love our short season, but not so much when the friction and rashes between our thighs. Now, here's how the first readers get quick relief. Now, 59% love this idea. Dab cold oat milk onto it, says Meg Ford. Now, it's chill and anti-inflammatory properties. Ease the pain and heal the skin. While 41% love this idea. Rub diaper cream onto the rashes, says Sue Garcia. Ingredients like zinc oxide soothe the skin and absorb the sweat. Now, regain your focus in a flash. 
If you find yourself mentally drained before an important vi virtual meeting, simply rinse out your coffee mug. Neurologists say that since dishwashing can't be multitask, it allows you to fully focus on what you're doing from start to finish. Now, this helps shift your mind into a, quote, meditative state that increases your alertness fast. Now, you can up your hydration effortlessly. Struggling to down and recommend eight glasses of water per day? Toss a few cucumbers in your glass and munch on them. When you're done drinking, research shows that your electrolytes in the plant foods transform liquid water into gel water, which is easy for the body to absorb and twice as hydrating as plain O H two O. Now, here's a money saver to outsmart foggy glasses. Stepping from an air-conditioned room into the summer humidity causes your eyeglass to fog up within seconds. To prevent it, spritz with a bit of warm water mixed with dish soap onto your lenses and let it air dry. The soap surfaces leave behind a thin film that prevents water molecules from forming hazy droplets on your lenses. Your money saved is $15 from buying that anti-fog spray. Now here's a show how. It says stow your skin care products in a contact lens container when you travel. So if you wear, don't even wear contact lenses anymore like I do. I used to when I was younger, but not anymore. But you can take your suntan lotion and put it right in the, the uh, contact lens case. That's kind of wow, you know. Just don't put your contacts in there because that would be horrible. Okay. Now, we've got another page here. Page 22, Nutrition Quick Bits. The nutrition news that matters to you. Deliciously sweet way to keep your memory sharp. Not only does an apple a day keep the doctor away, it may help ward off Alzheimer's. That's the word from German scientists in the stem cell reports. Their annual animal study found that the nutrients in the apples, which have guercetin and dihydroxybenzonic acid, which is better known as DHBA, stimulated the creation of new neutrons in the brain and reduced brain cell death that can lead to memory decline. The key to getting the benefits? Well, investigators advise eating whole apples with skin, which is where the most memory-boosting nutrients are found. Turning into this bolster healthy eating. Diet experts have long cautioned that eating in front of the TV causes overeating, but now British researchers reporting in the Journal of Appetite say watching a healthy cooking show like Christina Cook's on PBS could help you eat better. In their study, they found that people who are prepared or watch someone prepare a healthy meal reported a greater desire to eat that meal than subjects who were given a non-food related task. The investors Investigators say that an act of cooking or seeing someone else cook makes people more willingly to eat nutritious foods that might normally decline. Proof that mineral wards off severe symptoms of COVID. Research at the Pompetto Fabra University in Spain found that the people with higher levels of zinc in their blood had less severe symptoms of COVID-19 spent 68% less time being treated for the virus in the hospital and had better recovery outcomes than folks who had were def deficient in the mineral. The investigators say that zinc the say zinc slows the replication of the virus so the immune system can more easily fight off the illness. Now daily supplements ensure zinc levels stay steady over time. The recommended daily dose is 8 milligrams. Safeguard your vision with a simple berry toss in. Now, enjoying two tablespoons of goji berries daily may help in keep your vision sharp, reveals research in the J Journal of Nutrients. The scientists analyzed previous studies and found that sweet tart fruit is rich in zeaxanthin, which is a nutrient that protects cells in the eyes against damage that can cause a vari variety of eye troubles, including age-related muscular degeneration, vision loss that occurs with the age. Here's a tip. Toss goji berries into trail mix or yogurt. 33% people who say ice cream is their favorite 4th of July dessert. The Source Food Network. More good news for coffee lovers. Your morning cup of joe not only puts pep in your step, it can also protect your heart. That's the word from investigators reporting in Circulation Heart Failure, whose analysis of three studies that included 21,000 participants found that drinking two cups of caffeinated brew daily reduced heart failure risk by up to 
Now, they did not see the same effect in folks who drank decaffeinated coffee. Researchers say that nutrients in java, like potassium, niacin, and magnesium, help regulate the heart rhythm and lower the cholesterol, plus serve as building blocks for a strong heart muscle. In addition, the caffeine promotes improved blood circulation. Okay. Uh, next article I picked out was Delicious Healing. Renew with Nature's Candy on page 24. Feel your best with these in-season picks. Now a tiredness tamer for a caffeine-free energy boost, dip into a heaping cup of strawberries. Stanford researchers say that the seasonal gyms brim with compounds like pelagrinian and cysidin that coax your muscles and your brain cells to turn, burn the fatty acids for fuel, giving you 35% more energy than for three hours, plus helping you shake off the chronic tiredness in just 72 hours if you enjoy them daily. Now your sleep deepener though, the pigments that give ba the blackberries their color called the illuminatins prompt your brain to release sleep inducing melatonin. And the UCL research, UCLA researchers say nibbling on three fourth cup of them in the evening can help you drift off in just about 30 minutes. A delicious idea, blend three-fourth cup of berries with one cup of slightly softened frozen vanilla yogurt and a little sweetener. Freeze until you can enjoy a bedtime snack in the mood for savory. Well, drizzle balsamic vinegar over the berries, sprinkle with sugar and sliced basil, and then toss. Now we have another one called a fat blaster. Now the red currants taste like cross between raspberries and rhubarb. They're tart, but not so mouth puckering that you can't eat them on their very own. And snacking on one-fourth cup of berries between meals could help you shed six pounds per month, says Swedish scientists. They credit the currants, fruit, acids, compounds that energize the appetite, control center in the brain, starving off diet, sabotaging hunger pains. Now, skin smoother. Eating a daily bowl of blueberries can visibly reduce fine lines, redness, and flaking in just 10 days. That's the word from University of Hawaii researchers who say that the fruit contains a rare plant compound, Delafon, that speeds the formation of firming collagen and elastin that plus prompts the growth of healthy new epidermal cells. The worry ender. Snack away stress. Yes, you can. Canadian researchers found that noshing on 24 sweet cherry toms, or tames the tension in 15 minutes and cuts the risk of chronic stress and anxiety in half. If you enjoy them daily, thanks goes to the fruits anathosisians that quickly calm the anxiety center of the brain. Tip. Ripe, richly colored cherries have four times the antithesians that than firmer, palier ones picked before their prime. Now here's a pain soother. To sidestep aches and pains, work boysenberries into your diet. New Zealand researchers say that these berries contain twice as many anti-inflammatory compounds compared to the other fruits, and eating a handful of them daily helps tame the muscles and joint pain even more effectively than aspirin. Okay. Quick bits, the healthy news that matters to you. The surprising upside of a few extra pounds. They help you live longer, Ohio State University researchers of 8,329 people of, for nearly 70 years and found that the younger adults who with a healthy body max index, BMI, who gradually became overweight but never obese, live the longest, even longer than those who kept a normal BMI throughout their whole life. Study author Hu Zing, Ph.D., says modest weight gain from age 45 to 55 likely offers a protective effect against the nutritional deficiencies, metabolic stress, and muscle and bone loss caused by chronic disease. Now, socks reduce swollen leg risk by 77%. Scientists prove that Grandma was onto something with her support stockings. A study in the New England Journal of Medicine found that donning magnesium pressor knee-high socks with a firm rating of 20 to 30 mmHg four days a week reduces swollen legs and ankles enough to lower the risk of cellulitis, a bacterial skin infection common in the summer, by 77 percent. 
Lead researcher Elizabeth Webb says compression socks fend off bacteria growth while prior research shows they reduce the swelling from pain in varicose veins and the risk of deep vein thrombosis, which is blood clots, by 63%. Found this simple diet tweak reverses diabetes. Low-carb diets can help ward off diabetes, but the good news for carb lovers if you don't have to give them up forever. Investigators reporting in the BMJ analyzed 23 prior studies and had found that the subjects who kept their carb intake to 26% or less of the daily diet, about 125 grams of carbs, for six months were 32% more likely to reserve their diabetes than those following the, their diets. Study author Grant Brinkenworth, which is a Ph.D., says the diet's higher protein levels help suppress the appetite so you can enjoy fewer carbs without craving them. Fast goodbye to fatty liver. Reviving non-alcoholic fatty liver disease doesn't require medicine or lo losing lots of weight. UK researchers found that up to 60% of subjects with a condition where fat accumulates in the organ, disrupting the ability to filter out toxins who walked and then cycled every other day for 12 weeks, starting at 15 minutes and working up to 45, stopped the buildup of proteins that led to the damage. Now, the scientists say research is promising because it shows that fatty liver can be improved without significant weight loss. Now, 64% people who flush their public toilets with their feet to avoid germs, so the source, Bradley Corporation. Now, here's a daily habit that tames the COVID. Your daily oral health habit protects more than just your gums. The Journal of Periodontal reports that in a study of more than 550 COVID-19 patients, those with periodontists were 3.5 more likely to be admitted into the intensive care, 4.5 more likely to need a ventilator, and almost nine times more likely to perish compared to those without the gum disease. Like COVID-19, gum disease causes sustained inflammation or swelling throughout the body. Study author Marino Sanz is a Ph.D. and notes that oral bacteria in patients with periodontis can affect the lungs, making the coronavirus infection more severe and recommends oral care to reduce the risk of severe COVID outcomes. I want to get to half of the book tonight, and then we'll get to the other half tomorrow, hopefully. So let's see here. We're going to do two more articles and then we're going to call it good for tonight. Instant Inspirations. This is Stress-Free Maloria's Way. Actor, singer, producer, mom and wife, Maloria Hardin, she's 53, shares her tips to staying positive, joy-filled, and worry-free. The author, Gina Roberts Gray. For actress Mal Malora Hardin, Beloved by her roles as Jan on The Office and Jalika Carlisle on The Bold Type, this year's 4th of July is going to be a celebration of hope, family, and creative spirit that have kept going over the past year. Throughout the quarantine, my husband, two girls, and I were able to get creative together. Malaria shares with First, we did an art project and came up with new recipes, which we're looking forward to recreating with this Independence Day. It's been uplifting to share, and that in the midst of everything, for malaria, creativity has always been a release va valve for pent-up worry and her secret weapon in staying positive and healthy. Artistic expression doesn't just enhance my mood. It has become my food for my soul when my times are tough, Maloria says. Here are more ways she stays looking and feeling upbeat, radiant, and happy. Beats burnout with a soothing pep talk. We all feel overwhelmed, exhausted, anxious at times, Maloria says. One of my favorite things to recite to myself in those moments is a poem by Mary Oliver called Everything That Was Broken. I say it to myself daily, and it's words like every day has something in it whose name is forever. Remind me that every day, even a stressful one, is a true gift. A radiant secret is refreshing hydration. I love drinking my bubbly water, Maloria says. My favorites are LaCroix or San Pellegrino for a treat. It helps prevent dry skin, but also makes me feel energized, especially in the summer. Sparks Serenity. Take a pet pause, quote unquote. Of course, cuddling with my daughters and time with my husband are automatic stress busters, but I also love spending time with my pets. Maloria says with a smile, sitting with a cat or walking with a dog are really refreshing but we recently added koi fish and goldfish to our pond, and I find myself sitting there gazing at them for hours. There's something so relaxing about watching my fish. I really enjoy them. 
Studies have shown that watching fish swim in time or virtually can reduce blood pressure, boost mood, and instantly dial down anxiety. Melts a minnow pot. Do a dance. Do a little dance. Dance is my favorite exercise. It's good for the body and soul, Meloria enthuses. I've been doing it since I was five, but these days I rely on dance classes via Zoom to get my workout in and connect with other people. I'm a person who needs people around me, and I relied on those classes to get that connection and combat the anxiety and fear during the pandemic. I've also found that going on a walk and being able to say hello to neighbors, even at a distance, is my wildly helpful for my body and my mind. Instant recharge. Seeing the good. As I've gotten older, I've realized it's important to stop and smell the roses as much as I can, Meloria confides. I try to be in the moment and be grateful for everything I have, which is a balance that's hard to strike at times, especially during the moments when I'm asking myself, why isn't this working out? But I've learned that everything has a purpose, even the challenges, so on tough days I focus on the gratitude for the very basics, like having a roof over my head, a beautiful family, and my health. When I do that, I instantly see I have a lot. Maloria's latest heart-happy project. When she's not starring in iconic TV roles, Maloria stays busy with plenty of artistic endeavors, including singing, producing, and directing. I love to create arts of all kind. It's in my blood, Maloria says. Lots of people don't realize I write songs and sing. And for the past four years, I've been directing a four-part documentary series called Thunder, Hunter, and Me. Slated for release later this year, the story chronicles the friendship that Maloria forged with a woman named Hunter, who was found from trauma by watching Thunder, a 1977 television series starring Maloria as a young girl as she saved the day with her black stallion. Maloria also, recre also recently created products paying tribute to the office characters, including a shirt that reads, That's What He Said and the scent for that Serenity by Jan by Meloria candle. Find out more by visiting Meloria's Instagram page at Melora Hardin. Meloria has been finding the joy lately in directing a four-part documentary series. Whew. And the last page for tonight on Quick Bits, the psychology news that matters to you. Surefire strategies for savvier online shopping. While comparing ice cream makers, be sure to read the customer reviews on a variety of websites. It can help you make a better decision, say researchers at the University of Florida. They analyzed reviews for vacuums, toasters, and digital cameras and found that the item's first review shaped the subsequent reviews and product's overall rating for up to three years, creating a positive or negative domino effect depending on the tone of the first review. The researchers say that check out a mix of sites that can help you arrive at more balanced sense of how products perform. Surprising Power of Small Talk Engaging in chit-chat during your Zoom volunteer meeting has a positive impact on your work. According to the study of University of California, Santa Cruz, investigators analyzed a video call between people working on a task focusing on balance between chatter related and unrelated to the project, then, disturb, <laughs> then distributed surveys afterwards. The results, people enjoyed the task more when their collaborators took time for small talk since discussing outside topics allowed the team members to show consideration for one another, a benefit that also holds for in-person meetings. Discovered, an upside to pandemic stress. Though we wish the pandemic never happened, reflecting on the meaning that you found during its many challenges can help you support your happiness, suggests a study from the UK's University of Bath. The researchers analyzed survey data from the height of the pandemic and found that 88% of people could point out the positives like the closer family bonds and sense of new possibilities. Study, found, uh, study authors observed that compared to folks who found no meaning, those who identified silver linings showed better mental health and well-being. How to be more persuasive. Practicing responses to potential questions before a job interview can help in surprising ways, suggest a study in the journal Personality and Social Psychology. Researchers had participants rate the perceived sincerity of someone's answering questions, did you like your friend's dessert, and found that the pausing for even a few seconds before answering made that person seem less sincere. Investigators say that we assume a slower response means it's someone taking an extra beat to fabricate an answer. 90% of people who said that their pet made coping during the lockdown easier, the source PLOS1. Secret to an even happier marriage. If you and your partner have been on a short with each other, check in to see if either of you is disrupting the other's routine. 
West Virginia University researchers say that coordinating schedules so you both can meet your daily goals, for instance, he times video meetings around your workout for your combination, his daily check-in with his boss is key. They surveyed the married folks navigating the pandemic life and discovered that the greater disruption of each other's routines, the more feelings of sadness and anger were triggered. The study's authors say that assisting each other in the maintaining routines during the times of instability is a proven way to support a happier bond. Oh, we can do one more article. Stress SOS, the insight. Stop sneaky summer stress. With packed schedules, less sleep, and more pressure to be fun, social, and happy, regardless of how we actually feel, summertime can be deceptively stressful. Here the experts share easy ways to turn that tension into a season full of bliss. You wake up to greet a beautiful day. The sun is shining and the birds are singing, so why do you feel a vague yet palpable worry stirring inside you? According to the psychologist, summer stress, quote-unquote, is a very r real phenomenon caused in part by more obligations and less sleep this time of year. And many of us, no doubt, feel added pressure to make up for that lost time from last summer's lockdown. We know that men and women respond to seasonal depression differently, with summertime stress hitting the women the hardest, reveals neurologist Sanam Hafiz, PS, psychologist D of Columbia University. Just as the days grow longer to this time of year, so do women's lists of responsibilities, personally and professionally. And with that also comes more guilt. We're harder on ourselves in spite of carrying the lion's share of many burdens. This anxiety doesn't exclusively stem from bona fide busyness. The invisible expectation to be happier in the summer can trigger depression when we feel like we're falling short compared to our neighbors. Social media, in fact, are only exacerbates our insecurities as we compare our reality to someone else's, quote, highlight reel, end quote. Thankfully, our happiness can go up along with the temperature. Just read on to discover common summer stressors and their simple solutions so the season recharges your battery, melts stress, and soothes your soul. Are you comparing? Jump straight to the wind. While surfing social media, you feel a surge of envy as you look at a snapshot of a friend on a sailboat in a picture of perfect locale. Researchers show that the exposure to social media delivers only a fleeting mood boost before it quickly fades, leaving us feeling even worse than before, as we begin to compare ourselves to those around us. When that twinge of envy arises, ask yourself what can give you joy right now. We're conditioned to think about happiness in a have-to-do-be sequence. For example, once I have more money, I can take the vacations and finally be relaxed. But it's much healthier to cut out the middleman and proceed straight to the be part, says the wellness coach Rebecca Calafiro, author of Becoming You. If what you really want to is to feel relaxed, set that mental GPS coordinate by asking yourself, how can I have that feeling today? That could mean anything from taking a walk to getting ice cream with your grandkids. The way you want to feel is the end goal, and you can get there faster if you listen to what envy is telling you about your life rather than focusing on others. Are you overwhelmed? Engage all of your senses. As you host the first family barbecue in what feels like forever, you can't help but worry if everyone's having a great time. It's common for women to feel like they're responsible for everyone else's happiness, which can be overwhelming, observes, Jimmy, observes Jenny Yip, Ph.D., founder of Renewed Freedom Center. If you're caught in this anxiety spiral, ground yourself using the 54321 technique. Look around and notice the five things you can see. Four things you can touch, three things you can hear, two you can smell, and one you can taste. For example, consider the birds chirping, the sensation of grass between your toes, the fragrance of the roses in your garden, and the taste of lemonade. The instant sensory input short circuits your worried thoughts. It's impossible to savor this stimuli and still think about what's making you anxious, says psychologist chairman uh, Jackman, Ph.D. It instantly calms you, bringing you into the present moment. Are you feeling insecure? Try an exposure exercise. Your neighbors invited you to swim in their pool, but you're worried about wearing a swimsuit after gaining 20 pounds over the past few months. We tend to magnify our flaws and minimize our value, says Yip. This self-conscious is even more accurate because we've been out of more social situations for so long, causing a, quote, spotlight effect, end quote. 
that makes us think that others are judging us when they're not. To increase your confidence, briefly, briefly imagine or jot down a scenario that you're afraid of facing. For example, when I take off my sarong, people will stare at my stretch marks on my thighs. This type of exposure therapy, quote unquote, creates a safe space for you to face your fear, explains Yip. Simply envisioning the worst case scenario lets you see that you can handle it, both boosting your resilience. In fact, participants in one study experienced an incredible 90% reduction in their fear and anxiety just after one such exposure exercise. This simple visualization essentially lets your mind build up, quote unquote, immunity to stressors, allowing you to respond more calmly and confidently in the future. Fear of missing out. Choose JOMO instead. Now, every weekend for the past month has been overscheduled with social events. The pressure to say yes is wearing on you, but at the same time, you don't want to miss out on any fun after being cooped up for so long last year. You're not alone. Studies show that 40% of us report feeling that fear of missing out, or FOMO, during the summer. A feeling that is only heightened because we were able to because we are able to get together again. Simply swap the FOMO for JOMO or the joy of missing out. Taking an opposite action is part of the mindfulness strategy called the Acceptance and Commitment Therapy, ACT, proven to help diffuse negative thinking and end emotional dwelling, explains Jackman. For example, when you feel regret, switch to gratitude by telling yourself, if I hadn't skipped that event, I never would have discovered that beautiful walking path. By swapping perspectives, you're reminding yourself just how much you can control you do have in your life. And we're going to stop there for tonight. Pick up there at page seven, um, 69 tomorrow. So that's a good place to stop and we'll get a good start in tomorrow. It's been an honor and a pleasure to share this magazine with you tonight. Thank you for sitting here and listening to my videos with me. And I hope that you're keeping your six feet of social distance. You're still washing your hands when you can't. You're using your hand sanitizer when you have to wear your mask. If you have had your shot, now you know that, that you don't have to wear your mask all the time. Congratulations. If you haven't had your shot, what are you scared of? If you're like me and have a fear of needles, just turn your head and get shot right away. I love you all. Take care of yourself and each other. Do a kind deed for someone else and only expect two things in return. That's two words. Thank you. And when they say, how can I repay you? Say, just do a kind deed for someone else so that that chain of good deeds can build a good person. So that's what we want is good people in this world. And we need more of it. God bless each and every one of you. Stay safe. Stay well. Hope to see you tomorrow night.